have a little bit of wet weather left, and then the winds pick up. But we did pick up some accumulating snow today. Youngsville with the highest total, six inches. Lamontville, four and a half. And Wantage, two and a half. Then we get down to Hoboken. You see that tenth of an inch? That's a boat here is that we're starting to see the back edge of the wet weather make its exit. Still, though, rain and likely some sleet on Long Island. We see a wintry mix up over Fairfield County and coastal Connecticut and still a tiny bit of snow for the most northern tier of our viewing area. To forecast and Vanessa, talk about a nasty day outside. Absolutely disgusting <laughs> day. Icy. It will stay icy overnight. Please be cautious on those slick roadways as temperatures will stay below freezing for many. Let's check in with our weather watchers. Because I appreciate the comments that they've sent in regarding the fantastic weather. I very sarcastically. Yes, I do. Less, 34 degrees in Little Neck, reporting some rainfall. In fact, nearly a half an inch of rainfall, but I just loved his comment. Mother Nature treated us to snow, freezing rain, sleet and plain, plain rain. No locusts. Well, we haven't seen them yet anyway, but it could happen. It was disgusting to and very windy as we dry out. Your headlines are this. Slick roads tonight and for that AM commute expected, especially on those secondary roads. It's possibly 40 to 50 miles per hour plus beginning overnight through the day tomorrow. Next chance for a little bit of snow Wednesday and maybe Thursday. Let's go ahead and move things along here. We're going to show you those wind advisories because they are extensive. Beginning at midnight tonight, continuing through 6 tomorrow evening. Again, those gusts 40 to 50. We could see gusts as high as 60. Most likely place for that 60 mile per hour gust will be on the east end of Long Island. As the storm system responsible for the messy weather today bombs out off the coast, especially off the coast of New England. Let's show you what's happening now. As we look at the Vortex satellite and radar picture, still very soggy out there, especially for the east end of Long Island, for Fairfield, Connecticut. But you know, it's drizzly and gross this evening. Temperature is 34 degrees. Doesn't get much more nasty than this. Here's the setup. An area of low pressure off the coast. It will start bombing out tonight. That means rapid intensification. The pressure drops, the winds increase, and the snow starts to pile up. Our neighbors in coastal Maine can expect up to two feet of snow with the system. For us, the winds moving forward will be the biggest impact. So here we are at 7 p.m. this evening. We will see clearing skies, but winds ramping up overnight. You can see the center of the system right here off the east end of Long Island. Watch what happens as it makes its way off the coast of New England. We'll start to see those winds cranking out of the northwest. Again, gusts 40 to 50, maybe even higher. Let's take it to your extended forecast. After that, we oh. see still sunshine in the forecast for Valentine's Day. It's not as windy, so that's pleasant. Yeah. And then Wednesday into Thursday, a little more snow possible. All right. Thanks, Vanessa. Mm -hmm. Still ahead for us, Otis Livingston. Like it was a beat-up old box. Get out of the box. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks.